the Joides Resolution set sail from Auckland to drill the Louisville Seamount Trail, a chain of extinct underwater volcanoes formed by a hot spot. The goal? To study the composition and paleomagnetic record of the seamounts there. The primary question? Is the hot spot stationary, or does it move like the hot spot that created the Hawaiian Islands? The answer will better our understanding of how the Earth works on a planetary scale. Dr. Anthony Coppers from the U.S. and Dr. Toshi Yamazaki from Japan led the international team of 30 scientists on the two-month expedition at sea. So over the last two months we have been drilling five seamounts and those seamounts formed between 50 and 80 million years ago. To figure out if hotspots have moved, we first try to determine what the latitude was at which those volcanoes formed back 50 to 80 million years ago. And then with that data in hand, we can compare that to the current location of the Louisville hotspot, which is located about 50 degrees south in the Southern Pacific Ocean. To make this measurement, we need to get some really good rocks, in particular basaltic lava flows. With those basalts in hand, we can do measurements with a magnetometer. This instrument allows us to measure the magnetic field that's retained in the structure of this rock, and it tells us what the latitude was when this volcano formed. At this point, when we get that data, we can tell whether the latitudes are the same. If they're different, we know the hotspot moved. If they're the same, we know most likely didn't move. However, this is a very complex uh, measurement and we need to go back on shore in our own labs so we can actually do those measurements more precise and get a more definite answer. But drilling hard rock in the middle of the ocean is no easy job. The seamounts did not give up their secrets easily. Primary drilling locations fought back and had to be abandoned for secondary sites when we could get away. Several times the seamounts trapped the drill bit and the ship Twice, we had to send explosives down the drill pipe to blast our way free. But the secondary sites turned out to be bonanzas. Site U1374 offered up record-breaking core recoveries for hard rock drilling. Site U1376, while not as prolific, revealed an amazing variety of rock types, including a pure white core of limestone from an ancient algal life form. The Joides Resolution operates 24-7. The drill floor crew delivered core, despite the challenges. The science team on board processed, described, analyzed, photographed, and reported their findings. The ship's crew kept the vessel running, and the catering staff took care of everyone. Ultimately, we recovered over 800 meters of rock that rock will become part of the Integrated Ocean Drilling Program's Core Repository, a rock core library for researchers around the world. <laughs>